I do think that however small your garden, there will be a flowering tree that you can fit in and enjoy, and they just add a floral dimension that is fabulous. A few weeks ago, I sowed some Gardener's Delight tomatoes and suggested that if you hadn't sowed tomatoes, that you should join in and we'd do it together, and I'd take you through the process so that hopefully we can all share a really good harvest later on in summer. And I chose Gardener's Delight because they're lovely to eat straight off the vine, they're not difficult to grow, they tend to be quite robust, and also the seeds are widely available. Now, these are mine, and you can see that they've germinated and have developed what's called the true leaf, which is the leaf that looks like the parent. And as soon as they develop a true leaf, they're ready for pricking out or potting on. So if yours look anything like this, this is what you should do. So a small pot, and I'm just using a normal peat-free potting compost, hold it by the leaf always and just cut around it to lift it out and there you have a root ball on that little plant a really good root system you drop it into the pot like that hold it steady put some soil around it now i'm not going to firm it in at all just gently shake it like that and put it to one side and it is really important to get as much root as you can. And it's worth saying that if you haven't managed to sow seed and this inspires you to grow some, you may well be able to get young plants from a garden center. And it doesn't matter if I slightly bury the stem because new roots will develop from it. And these are destined for the garden, not the greenhouse. So I won't even think of planting them out for another three, four weeks when the nights are nice and warm. There we go. So we'll put Gardener's Delight, give them a good soak, and these will go back into a protected environment. In my case, a greenhouse, if you've got a cold frame, a windowsill, a porch. But it's important to do this now. Don't leave them in the seed tray. The beauty of tomatoes, and in fact quite a few vegetables, is that you don't need a lot of space to get a really good harvest.